Central Valley is officially out of the drought, but now meteorologists are worried California has too much snow. Fox 26 News reporter Sophia Lesios explains how our snowpack might do more damage than help. The big snow melt has not happened quite yet. Uh, that's not going to happen probably for another few more weeks. California's drought significantly went down this year. The state started out the water year in October 2022 with 99% of California in a drought. Now it sits at less than 9%, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. That's a big victory for the state, considering it's been in a severe drought for the last three years. But did California get too much water this year? Maybe. It's the biggest snowpack we've seen above 8,000 feet since we started taking records of it. It's absolutely enormous. According to the National Weather Service, peak snowmelt usually is end of May into early June, but this year is a bit different. Now, because we have so much snow, especially in the higher elevations, especially above 8,000 feet, the snowpack has never been the size that it is in the southern Sierra Nevada above 8,000 feet. That's going to allow for a snowmelt to continue all the way through August or even September. So most likely, we'll be dealing with flooding throughout the entire summer, considering our snowpack is three times normal size. Just to give you an idea of water flow down in the rivers, this is what Pine Flat Dam looked like last summer in 2022. This is what it looks like now. It's, it's a very rare event for us, so trying to model what's gonna happen with some of these rivers and the Tulare Lake bed is gonna be um, Quite the challenge. The National Weather Service says most of the flooding we're seeing right now is just runoff from the heavy rain we received earlier in the year. A good chunk of the snow in the Sierra Nevada hasn't even started melting yet. If we have a rapid warm up in the Central Valley with temperatures over 90, that could lead to a significant flooding. Are you expecting to have the Tulare Lake bed come back? Um, you know, it's it's already coming back to some extent. So depending on uh, how fast the snow melt happens, it's going to dictate how large the lake bed gets. So uh, it's from what I can see, it's already there. It's just it's not quite full yet. For Fox 26 News, I'm Sophia Lesios.